Good morning. How's everyone doing? A um, bit of an update on what's the entire fire build at the moment. Um, some comments that I've had before about the brake lines um, running underneath the car. So what I've done is, as you can see, the brake lines are not underneath no more. So they're all running through the car, under the car, under the carpet. I know people saying obviously rally car, well you've got carpet and stuff like that, but obviously local events to us in Portsmouth, obviously you need pretty much the interior. So that's why the car has got headlining, carpet and everything else. So the brake lines are run up pretty much following the route on the underside of the car. Um, obviously I know some people can go obviously about the fuel lines, but to be honest, I'm happy to leave them underneath. Um, and obviously I'm not, maybe later on go down the route. Um, so obviously onto the engine bay, as you can see, obviously the brake lines have been run, um, obviously to the front calipers, and obviously down to the little pressure valve. Um, obviously I've, I've had a big push for fitting the baker hoses, as you can see. So most of the water and your hoses are all in place now. Obviously starter motor, has been fitted. I've got to change, obviously, the terminal. Um, so it's the wrong one for there. As you see, obviously, genuine Peugeot oil filter. As some of you know on the eight valves, obviously, they've got like a funny little valve inside of them. And when I've put aftermarket oil filters on the Peugeot before, obviously, I've sort of lost my oil pressure, put a genuine one on there, and obviously, you get it back. So, yeah, the engine bay is coming on quite quickly, as you can see. Um, Obviously, all drive shafts are all in place. Um, front brake caliper is all fitted up. Obviously, I bought a rebuild kit um, to rebuild the caliper off of eBay. So, obviously, that's all back together. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's one side. The other side, buddy, fitting one of the pads. I bloody nicked um, one of the seals. So, I've had to order up another seal kit, and that's why, obviously, that side um, is not on. So, yeah, obviously... Got a header tank on there as well, which is another, which is an aftermarket one off of eBay. Um, yeah, can't really fault it really. But as you can see, obviously, I like to go. Obviously, I know everyone's a bit over the top with the black and stuff, but obviously, I've my silver one is all zinc plated under the engine bay, so I fancy doing put my own little thing on the build. And obviously, that's what I've done. Obviously, with all the black um, and stuff. And yeah, so like I said. Nice, obviously the wiring looms all in there, all running off obviously to different sensors and stuff like that. I'm going to look at getting the distributor um, refurbed and um, oh the airflow meter as well to run it on there. Um, so yeah, not much on the inside. Obviously, I'm aiming to get it back on four wheels. So as you can see there. Obviously, the rear drums are all put together, which is a bit of a learning curve because it's been a fair few years since I've done a drum break. Um, so, obviously, that, that's all in on both sides. But what the nice thing is, is all those boxes that are underneath the car are all starting to get empty. So, that means that, obviously, we're quite far on in the build now. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, it won't be long. Obviously, now all the suspension's on there and and stuff um yeah we're, we're coming on really quick and fast um which is quite nice so yeah i'm looking forward to to getting it back on four wheels um yeah i think the only main job i think i've got the exhaust to do um let's see fit the exhaust system um and that's about it on the underside because i see all the heat shields are all in there in place so yeah so once it's back on four wheels then i can start moving along um so obviously getting the interior back together. So obviously still obviously looking for a company to do a bit of dash flocking. But I might even borrow the kit um, and do it myself. Because I think most of the people have picked up now. There's not a lot that I can't do, um, obviously, in my workshop at home. So if it means um, obviously buying a kit and doing my own bits, then so be it. Um, but yeah, like I said, caught quite a bit of a push yesterday on it. Um, and then obviously last weekend. So yeah, and then obviously in the workshop, as you see, obviously bought some more signs. Um, they got them off of eBay, um, which is quite good. Obviously some different ones. Um, 
And I've still got my little Mitchell in man. Uh, I will buy one of the bigger ones. So it's just, it's, it's, it's filling up the gaps in the workshop and just sort of making how it should be. So yeah, um, like I said, a bit of a short update. But like I said, a few people asked obviously what's going on with the car and the people on my Instagram um, obviously would have seen what I've been up to. Um, obviously things. So yeah, not I've been approached by Machine Mark about doing a video um, and doing something for their website. Because obviously, as you can see in here, um, obviously you've got Machine Mark catalogs and I've got a heck of a lot of Machine Mark um, tools because obviously we've got branch in Portsmouth. I buy a heck of a lot of obviously stuff from and I've done since my dad started off buying me presents in there back probably about 25, 30 odd years ago now. Um, so yeah, it's all it's all good. And then there's another one, I believe it's Practical Performance Cars or something, another car magazine. They're obviously looking at doing an article and obviously want me to sort of contribute to, to obviously putting some bits in their magazine so they can obviously show people what I'm doing. So yeah, but like I said, can't be bad for a washed up metal polisher from Portsmouth, obviously being approached by obviously different companies and, and stuff. Because like I said, people would, you know, people will follow me proper fast now and obviously always want to know what I'm up to. So it's just, like I said, get this car out of the way and then look at what we're going to do next and just keep building them and keep posting up the videos. So yeah, so everyone, thank you very much. If you've just come across my channel, please subscribe. Um, again, my Instagram, Dale Toy 5 Mills, my eBay, uh, eBay. Um, my YouTube is Dale Toy 5 Mills. Um, literally, if you go on the Google and type in that Dale 205 Mills, you, you get a bit of an idea of what I'll get up to. Um, it's not just cars, it's it's everything. Um, yeah, and that's sort of that's what keeps me going. So yeah, everyone have a cracking day, and uh, I'll be with you in due course. Thank you very much.